Hello student, how are you all? Today, in this video, we are going to start chapter number 24 of grammar. And the name of chapter is active and passive voice. Student, active voice means that a sentence has a subject that acts upon to its verb is an active voice. And passive voice means that its uh, subject is a recipient or the receiver of a verb verbs action so that is passive voice so in this chapter we are going to see all about active and passive voice so let's start the chapter chapter number 24 active and passive voice read and compare the following sentences first one the carpenter makes a table in second sentence, a table is made by the carpenter. See, here the subject and the uh, subject has changed. Otherwise, the meaning of sentence is same. Okay, in first sentence, subject is carpenter. While in second sentence, we used a table as a subject. And the meaning of both the sentence is same. Okay, the carpenter had made the table or the table is made by the carpenter. See, those sentences are contains the same message. Message is same. However, in the first sentence, the carpenter gets more important, and in the second sentence, the table is forced. Here, we had seen in the first sentence we had used carpenter as a subject, while in second sentence we had used table as a subject. Means in first sentence we got given important to carpenter, while in second sentence we used uh, table as an important word okay the first sentence where the tour of the action carpenter gets more important in the is an active voice okay where in the first sentence when we had you uh, used as carpenter as a main word here that word or that uh, sentence is used as an active voice while in second sentence we had changed the subject that table we had kept as an subject so in the second sentence where the think is used which the action is done or the receiver of the action gets more important is the passive voice okay in first sentence carpenter was the speaker or the uh, subject of the sentence that was in passive voice while in the second sentence we had used the word table which was the receiver of the action okay carpenter was doing the action while uh, table was receiving the action so in the second sentence we used a table or a receiver of the sentence as an important or as an subject so that is passive voice that is the difference between active and passive voice okay see in passive sentences the verb has its structure that appropriates form of b plus past participle of the main verb see when we make a sentence in a passive voice the structure of a sentence will be b form b form means you know m is r was where have has had that all are the words used for the b form b form plus the past participle of a main verb okay see some examples are given to here us let's see sumita was bitten by a dog bitten by a dog here uh, from B form we had used was plus uh, bite past participle of the main verb bitten. Okay, was bitten. So the wall is been built by the workers. Here is been built. B plus past participle of a main verb. From B we had used is and being built is the past participle of a main verb build. The food may be been prepared by the cook okay here may be been prepared by uh, prepared still here from may be being prepared is a b plus past participle used in the passive sentence the portrait has been removed by the main ten uh, tenants here had from is a b form plus being removed is the past participle of the main verb 
so in this all the passive sentences we had used b plus the past participle of the main verb so the structure of a sentence will be b plus past participle of a main verb when you want to make the active sentence to passive or you want to form direct a passive sentence the structure of a sentence will be b plus past participle of a main verb in the passive voice the object of a corresponding su active sub uh, active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence see in a passive sentence when you are form uh, right making a passive sentence from active to passive then the subject of the main uh, active sentence will be correspondingly correspondingly change to the uh, subject of a passive sentence okay means the active subjects will go to uh, passive agent and the passive object will become the subject of uh, active passage will become the uh, subject of passive see by the example we will understand see example of active sentence the gardener caught the thief here garden the gardener is a subject and the thief is a object while we will change that sentence into passive the thief which was the object of active sentence will become a subject in passive sentence okay which was the the thief was the object in active sentence in first one sentence the thief is used as an object but when we will turn into passive it will be used as a subject there the thief was caught uh, was caught by the gardener here the subject of active sentence will become agent okay you can see here as, as showed in a picture the subject of a active sentence becomes the agent in passive sentence the agent is often dropped from the passive sentences okay so as we had seen that the subject of active sentence the gardener will become Uh, agent in passive sentence okay in first one sentence the gardener was subject but in when we had written the passive sentence we had used that gardener as an agent in passive sentences okay so the subject of active sentences will become agent in passive sentences and often sometimes we will uh, drop the subjects in passive sentence also see by the example we'll understand the active sentence is the public work department built this bridge in 2005 okay here the subject is the public works department is the subject and the bridge is object okay now we will uh, convert the active sentence into passive see the passive sentence will be the object of a sentence will become subject here in passive sentence so the object in active sentence is the bridge so here in passive sentence we will write the bridge was built by the public works department in 2005 okay here we had taken the subject and agent both but sometimes we can or we can remove the subject uh, sorry agent and we can write the sentence see for example the same sentence after removing the agent will be the bridge was built in 2005 here the agent is removed the agent was the public works department here we had removed that agent okay so sometimes we can or often we removes the uh, agent from the sentence we drop the agents from the sentences okay see now if the verb in active sentence has two objects the direct object and indirect object either of them can be the subject of passive sentence depending on the meaning enhances we want to convey okay see sometimes in some sentences there will be more than two subjects okay Oh, sorry more than two objects okay direct object and indirect object so in such cases we will take while we will write the passive sentence we will take 
any of one object as a subject it depends on the meaning of sentence what we want to convey hum kya meaning dena chahte hain us hisab se wo dono mein se koi bhi ek object use karenge for example see the active sentence is the teacher gave the children their report cards here the teacher is subject while the children and their report cards here two object the children is direct object and their report sorry indirect object and their report card is direct object okay so what will be the passive sentence see two objects any one we we can use but it depends what the meaning we want to convey okay the children we had taken indirect object first the children were given their report cards by the teachers okay so here this indirect object we had used as a subject or the same sentence can be in this way the report cards were given to the children by the teachers okay direct subject we uh, direct object we had used in the passive sentence second one okay so in this way both the options can be both the objects can be used but depend on the meaning of the sentence okay now see only active sentence that has a relative verb a verb that can takes an object can be converted into passive okay if the active sentence has transitive verb that sentence only can be converted into passive if any active sentence doesn't has any transitive verb which cannot take any object then that subject can or that sentence cannot be turned converted into passive sentence see for example the ajit won a quiz competition here this won is transitive verb ajit is a subject won is a transitive verb and a quiz competition is a object so we can when there is a transitive verb it can be changed into passive voice so the passive sentence will be a quiz competition was won by ajit okay it is converted into passive sentence but if the active sentence is such a way that ajit walked fast here ajit is a subject walked is intransitive verb and it doesn't takes any object so it cannot be converted into passive sentence is sentence ka koi bhi passive sentence nahi hoga okay so intransitive verbs cannot be converted into passive sentences understood the following table shows how various verbs forms are turned into passive some examples are given to us that how the active sentences can be turned into the passive see when the sentence is for by the tense we can uh, see the examples first is simple present when this active sentence is leela waters the plant every day then the passive sentence will be the plants are watered by leela every day present continuous form shantu is planting the sorry shantu is painting the wall then passive sentence will be the wall is painted by the shantu present perfect tense azim has finished the homework the homework has been finished by the azim will be the passive sentence for that then present perfect continuous the farmers have been harvesting the crop here the have been uh, harvesting uh, is a um, already in a uh, means is it in intransitive verb so there will be no passive sentence for that okay now simple past tense salim planted 10 trees yesterday passive sentence will be the 10 trees were planted by salim yesterday past continuous peter was driving the car is a active sentence passive sentence will be the car was being driven by the peter now past perfect tense sita had written a novel when she was young passive sentence will be the novel had been written by sita when she was young now perfect continuous need uh, nadim had been teaching that boy before his parents returned from the abroad here this sentence is intransitive so there will be no positive sentence for sorry no passive sentence for this sentence simple future 
Nida will call you tomorrow. Then passive sentence will be you will be called by Nida tomorrow. Then future continues. You will uh, your uh, you will be trained Rashid next week. Here also continuous tense. Most of the continuous tense will be in intransitive verbs. So there will be no passive sentence for them. Okay, future perfect. Sumona will have been e uh, eaten five mangoes by the time her mother comes. Here, five mang passive sentence will be five mangoes will be will have been eaten by Sumona by the time her mother comes. Then last, future perfect continues. Anil will have been building this house for three years this December. Here also it is an intransitive verb, so there will be no passive sentence for that. Now. use of passive see active voice is generally referred in a speech and writing because it is a direct and sim uh, simpler in structure okay see we are using active sentence because it is a direct sentence and also it is a very simple in writing no confusion for that so we are using direct but for indirect there are the rules sorry for active uh, we are uh, writing active sentences for um generally we are writing for that uh, it is easy and it is direct but for the passive sentence we have to use the rules there are the rules see however the passive has specify use in the following contents some specify rules are there for when we use the passive sentence see, first one when the doer is understood means when the receiver or the doer of the action is known by you okay without saying the name of any action or the persons we will come to know who had done the action okay when the doer is understood see the burglar was caught we know by the police is understood so we had used for that passive voice rice is cultivated here by the patients is understood okay so though it is not written by whom still you will get the idea for that we are using passive sentence for this place we are using passive sentence second one when the doer is unknown when the uh, receiver or of the action or the doer of the action is unknown means whom you don't know at that time we use passive sentence the diamonds were stolen by whom we don't know okay the window pane has been uh, sheltered by whom not knowing okay so when the doer is unknown we used passive then third one when the speaker does not want to specify the doer of the action she or he is speaking about okay then third one rule is when the speaker does not want to mention anyone's name that who had done the action okay at that time we are using passive sentences for example the officer was paid to get the promises Permi sorry permissions okay the speaker does not want to name the person who paid uh, paid the officer okay he does not want to mention the name who had paid to that officer so he had used the passive sentence second one sunil was asked to pretend as a candidate here who asked sunil to pretend as a candidate name was uh, the speaker doesn't want to mention his name so we use passive sentence so student this was the active and passive chapter hope you all got it and the exercise parts will be sent to you in pdf thank you